All right, so we are back at this setup again. I know what you're wondering, <laughs> what are we doing today? As you know, Transformer is coming out. And I really love Transformer, actually. I'm not gonna lie. I just moved into a new place, right? So that's, I have 20 boxes here, and I'm gonna use it to create Optimus Prime. See Optimum Prime! We're gonna need some tools, right? I already came prepared, I bought some tools. We got here a pencil. Things to cut the box. Bruh. Glue. Whee. Oh, you like my background? It's like a, a chair. It's called a lazy chair. For lazy people like me that didn't upload. <laughs> Plan is, I'll take this pencil. And draw it out. Knife. Cut it out. And eventually, glue. Combine them out. Actually, I found like some uh, some website that actually shows a replica of it. No, I don't need that. I will improvise. So this is part one, where I'm gonna create the head. Bang! All right, let's get into it. So while doing this halfway, I realized that I could actually just do the helmet first, then only do the shapes to cover it. Yeah. A lot. They make a lot of content. <laughs> then the battery died. Which sucks. But it's okay. I can redo. It's okay, here's the update. I created like a face stuff. And then created this thing. So what is gonna happen is I'm gonna combine this. Hopefully you can fit my head, I guess. First question you ask is what inspired me to do YouTube. I actually got inspired by PewDiePie. Back in high school, I was he was streaming all this gaming content. And I thought like it's so fun doing such a thing. I wanna do be able to do such a thing. But I was an introvert. I didn't really express myself, I would say. So, it's a really hard thing. Even though I want to, but it's really hard. Those who actually know back then, I actually started off as a reaction channel. So I react. But the thing is, it didn't do well. So, why it didn't do well, it's kind of obvious, right? Because I don't really have a much expression. So yeah, then it evolved to doing uh, this kind of stuff. and basically creating what I just like and having fun while creating stuff is what I learned just to enjoy doing what you like what is your favorite type of challenge to film and why? I have a lot of fun things that I do but there is definitely one that's really enjoyable which is the attempting every boulder now why is that fun because i guess you're filming with your friends and it's just a really fun time we're just enjoying ourselves there no pressure about the content <laughs> just having fun shooting and making jokes <sighs> if you could collaborate with any youtuber or celebrity who would it be now obviously i would want to collab with mr <coughs> He is now my inspiration Like, not because of how rich he is But because of how kind hearted he is I basically just want to help people out Some way or another For local celebrity, I I don't know much of local celebrity But a celebrity it will be New Jeans Because New Jeans is now my favorite band How this goes I'm just trying to glue them right now See if it sticks Anyway, next question. What is the most memorable or craziest challenge you have ever created, attempted on your channel? Now this one, I would say it's the 50k steps. Thinking of walking 50k is already crazy enough. What more attempting it alone, alone in the public and as an introvert. Actually, I'm not really an introvert, I'm an ambivert. 54% introvert, so that pretty much says a lot about it, right? What's really memorable is that the part where I met someone just so randomly, he saw me filming and he asked me, oh you're a YouTuber, oh what are you creating, what are you doing? <laughs> it's crazy. I'm a bit embarrassed, shocked, because like, I don't really want people to know what am I doing before I actually be somewhere, but but yeah, that taught me just enjoy what you want 
fun fact about that challenge as well is that I didn't actually felt tired. I, I do feel tired, but after finishing it, it's like, it's not really tiring. Yeah, what do you enjoy most about creating content on YouTube? And what are some of the challenges you face as a content creator? What I enjoy most is to see that, you know, people watching my channel and then they're like, wow. You know, sometimes they actually know what what's going on in the channel, which is crazy. It's like sort of touching. Like, wow, you watch my channel. The challenging part is filming by yourself and right when you spend so much time on videos, like for me, I spend a lot of time on creating this kind of stuff. But the thing is, not, it's not that searchable on YouTube. And nobody actually watch this stuff. And it's kind of disappointing as I like some sort of an expectation that oh, this one will do well. So I've been gone for a while and this is an update to the hit. Right now it's wearable. So I created this I don't know, sort of like a thing so like a close to fit my head in. I'll try it on. There you go. If you could travel anywhere in the world to film a challenge, where would you go and what type of challenge would you film? I thought th I'm thinking of like US, but the thing is because a lot of big content creators there, right? So that's like the the most correct answer <laughs> I would say. Maybe traveling around the world. That would be fun. Alright, are there any specific goals or milestones you hope to achieve with your channel in the future? Yeah, I do. I do actually. Uh, I have a goal that I want to do. This is to uh, mainly giving, like, similar to Mr. Beast. That's why. I mean, similar to Mr. Beast because I want to give back to the community. I specifically want to help people with uh, who are actually talented. Maybe tell it in a way where um, studies or any other talent. Uh, I really do plan to do that. Where you know some of these people are not given the opportunity they are needed to pursue what they are good at and they are gifted at. So I actually have like some kind, some sort of like a big plan. Functionality more than design. We will improvise. What do you do when you're not filming or working on your YouTube channel? Any hobbies or interests you'd like to share? Yeah, I shared my interest in this channel before, which is rock climbing and bouldering. Uh, yeah, I do that actually quite frequent back then, but these days I'm not really. Uh, I didn't really have the time. And bouldering actually takes up a lot of money. Other than that, I do play games. If you don't know, there, there is a gaming channel of mine. But back then, I was streaming a lot. But now I'm more focused to doing videos. How do you come up with all with, with ideas for your challenges and creative content? Any specific source or inspiration or brainstorming methods you use? To be honest, most of my ideas come from observing things and looking around. Alright, there you go. It's not that perfect yet. At least it's bearable. <laughs> oh my, flipping. So, we're gonna improvise from here. What message or impact do you hope to make through your content? How do you want to connect with your audience on a deeper level? Most of my videos are just for entertainment, for you to enjoy. The educational one, I do not have resources yet to do anything, but I really do plan to do that. And I hope, I hope, I hope you can take that from me. How do I want to connect with you guys more is through maybe, uh, through probably gifts away or give, I mean, giveaway where my audience can partake, and also maybe the video where my audience can partake too. So, we hope to see that in the future. Uh, 
continue to grow this channel plus and let's see how it goes I've done a lot of detailing to the helmet as you can see then the front part here uh, this top part here with some of this and then the face and so this is officially done There you go. Something like that. Now we're gonna watch Transformer like this. <laughs> right. So there you have it. This is the Transformer hit. If you wanna see me build the whole body, smash that like button. 100 likes. I will do it. I am at 100 subs, so 100 of you like it. I'll do it. That's 100% of you. Goodbye.